Colonel Benz first patented a motor car in 1886. He worked with Gottlieb Daimler and Wilhelm Maybach and marketed their first car in 1901. Emil Jelinek was an entrepreneur who was also very significant in these early years. And that very first car from 1901 was named after his daughter, Mercedes. Mercedes-Benz became the company's official trademark in 1926. Millions and millions of cars later leads us to today where Susan and I are visiting the Mercedes Museum in Stuttgart, Germany. This museum is gigantic, and Mercedes history and body of work is simply too big for me to cover here. So I'm going to just highlight some of the cars and vehicles that were interesting to me. Put something red and shiny in front of me with the carrying capacity of a modern minivan and you'll catch my attention. This is a 1904 simplex that was owned by Emil Jelinek himself. It was restored by Mercedes and I love the polished brass, stained wood and roof rack that would make it perfect for trips to Home Depot or Menards. Mercedes also made trucks and sold bare chassis to companies across Europe. This frame from 1907 was shipped to England where it was completed as a double-decker bus. Buses and trucks weren't the only vehicles that received unique bodywork. This is a 1939 320 that wears custom coachwork to aid in aerodynamics. These are some of the most interesting automobiles to me at the Mercedes Museum. They're near the top of my list, but not exactly my favorites, which would be cars from the 1980s, and I'll talk about those in a later video. But these cars are from the years leading up to, or from the years during, World War II.
I close my eyes, I can just picture driving across the German countryside in a car like this with the top down, or maybe on a road sneaking through the Austrian Alps, zipping by sky blue lakes nestled between snow capped mountaintops. That sounds pretty nice. Mercedes are expensive now, and they were expensive in the 1930s, too. They were owned by movie stars, wealthy business owners, and political figures. Also, pretty much just like today. A Mercedes 540K or a big black 770 pulling up in front of your house might have been a cause for concern during the war years, and these big cars are still an imposing presence today. The museum tour will continue with the post-war years through the 1980s in another video, and if you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe. Until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.